Today, I'm going to teach you how to use arrays with base 10 blocks in order to solve two digit by one digit multiplication questions. Let's take a look at 47 times four. 47 times four means that I'm showing 47 four times. Instead of drawing 47 dots, four times, I'm going to use base 10 blocks and arrange them in arrays. So first I'm going to draw 47 one time. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. Now I'm going to keep drawing 47 three more times because I've already done it once to make it four times. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. So I've drawn 47 four times using base 10 blocks and arranged them like an array. I arrange them in rows and columns. Now I can add all of these together to get my answer. So here I have uh, 40, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. So I have 160 tens. And then I have 7, 14, 21, 28 ones. If I add these together, I get 188. So 47 times 4 is equal to 188. I'm going to teach you how to do two digit by one digit multiplication using the distributive property. Let's take a look at 47 times four. When we do the distributive property, the first thing we have to do is we have to locate our two digit number. Our two digit number is 47. Then we decompose the two digit number into its tens and its ones. In 47, the four in 47 doesn't mean four, it means four tens or 40. And the seven in 47 means there's seven ones. Now that we've decomposed the number, we can distribute them with four. That means that 40 times four and seven times four added together is the same as 47 times four. So we're going to do just that. In brackets, we're going to put 40 times four. And we're going to add that with seven times four. For 40 times four, I'm thinking that four times four is equal to 16. And then I can add a zero at the end. So 40 times four is equal to 160. 7 times 4, I know is equal to 28. Now I can add these two numbers together. 160 
plus 28 is equal to 188. So 47 times 4 is equal to 188.